Housing should not be an investment. Houses should be homes. You should not be looking to make money off a of property, either as the homeowner or a landlord. It is not the tenant's responsibility to make you money. Honestly this goes for all capitalism. All money should be reinvested to make things better for everyone. Not hoarded for your personal selfish gain. I think your point is better made with the word commodity. Investing in a home is excellent for a family. The commodified market of homes being bought for the sole purpose of extracting rent from working families is a tragedy. We can agree that foreign investors shouldn't just come and buy empty homes. This is a practice common in China where they have built ghost cities. NYC is becoming an extension of that. The problem I see, are some people who are able to have four properties as an investment while some people can't even afford their first home because Mr. And Mrs. Moneybags comes along to an auction, completely outbids everyone and pays in cash just an example. IDK. I rather like the fact that I invested in a home to live in, to fix up, and to give to my kids when I finally die by falling down the basement stairs. Honestly this goes for all capitalism. All money should be reinvested to make things better for everyone. Interesting understanding of capitalism. I'm not sure it's the word you are looking for. Which is why you have headlines like millennials excited for housing bubble to pop. So they can afford to live in a house. Headlines that target millennials as bad for existing not being able to afford everything their parents could, because the system is broken. Home ownership built the middle class and is the only way for most people to be able to retire dignified. The problem is huge corporations like Zillow and others using algorithms to buy large numbers of homes only to try to sell them soon after at a profit. Edited misread the post. Just ban corporations from buying residential properties and put a cap on how many homes people can own while renting them out. Explain your notion of the ideal economic system including the practicalities. I'm not sure if you have ever owned a home, but repairs are expensive. Last time I had a roof replaced it was $20,000. I had unexpected plumbing issues, which cost me close to $10k, then the other nickel and dime stuff. You would have to charge more than the mortgage, to have a safety net to do repairs. Landlords aren't your rich aunt who lets you live there under market value and pays for all the repairs out of pocket. If you're talking about NYC and rent control, then that's a different story in one of the most expensive zip codes in America. It's not the tenant's responsibility to make you money. But it's not the landlord's responsibility to pay to house someone. Someone lost a bid. I know people who've had to relocate and rather than selling their old home they've decided to rent it out. Also people who've inherited a home they don't want to move into themselves, so they rent it out. I'm not sure I understand why anyone would think a person shouldn't be able to make money from renting out their property. And it's not like all landlords are filthy rich. A person invests their time in a career or a job one of the rewards they receive in trade for the time is money. If I rent out a home that I have purchased with the time that I invested in securing the funds to be able to pay for it I will rent the home for fair market value. I'm not trying to get rich from the rent but I am taking a risk by renting the place to another person to begin with. As far as making things better for everyone, I have no objections with helping other people but in reality it is up to the individual to make their own life better versus relying on others. My wife and I have purchased and sold two houses and have reinvested the money into our current house shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. All money should be reinvested to make things better for everyone. Wow, if only there was a magic eight ball that we could all agree on as the arbiter of what investments make things better for everyone. Capitalism on a global scale has more than any other force lifted more people out of poverty. That has been the experience of the 20th century, whether you like it or not. Wow very unpopular opinion here on Reddit of all places. Not like this place is some sort of circle jerk or something. It's not the tenant's responsibility to make you money. Man doesn't know how leases work. What out about people who move frequently? What about people who cannot afford to buy? 
What about people who aren't handy and don't want to pay for maintenance expenses? I thought this wasn't unpopular but given the comments. Come on people, surely you can see the difference between I bought one two homes, sold them for a profit then bought my main home and I'm a big company, bought hundreds of homes that I rent? The sanest capitalism is capitalism with government safeguards. That people can't see how safeguarding against extremes is astounding extremes like owning lots of homes to rent, loss of income due to being fired without notice, medical issues. Taxes can be contentious enough, but you're going for all the money? No thanks. If I'm throwing a large chunk of my income at a home, I'd like a return on it thank you. Housing should not be an investment. This goes for all capitalism. All money should be. Wait for it. Reinvested. Wow facepalm. It's not the homeowner's place to provide free cheap housing. Don't sign contracts you can't fulfill. So tenants live in your property for free. Like how does that even make sense face with tears of joy? Why tf are you guys like this? It is not the tenant's responsibility to make you money. Well at ISNT the homeowner's responsibility to provide you housing with no benefit to them whatsoever. Let me tell you how you should not do capitalism, but I'll do capitalism as I see fit, k? Okay? Posts like this always make me chuckle. The amount of Redditors that think homeownership will somehow be the cure to all their ailments is absolutely ridiculous. Your average Redditor can't put their pants on without pissing themselves yet somehow they'll be able to manage the maintaining of a home. Some people just flat out don't have the intelligence, foresight, and flat out the will to own a home. They just like the idea of owning a home haven't the slightest clue at what the actual cost is. No thanks. Sounds like I work for everyone now instead of just my family, and that sounds terrible. It is not the tenant's responsibility to make you money. Is it the landlord's responsibility to buy a place for you to live? This post reads as don't be more financially literate than I am because it makes me feel bad about my financial choices. Agreed. It is precisely this that causes the lack of affordable housing. Homeowners will protect what is their life savings at the expense of everyone else. Those who rent or are unhoused are less potent politically as well. Buying property that you maintain and rent out is the literal opposite of hoarding wealth. You're risking money to provide something that people need. Takes the most popular opinion on Reddit and passes it off as unpopular face with rolling eyes. Yep you're right. This is an unpopular opinion. It's also incredibly ignorant and reeks of no life experience whatsoever. Investing in one home is fine but what is a real problem is individuals corporations owning dozens to tens of thousands of homes. There should be a cap on the amount of properties you can legally own. Feeling entitled to the value of someone else's labor is pretty lame. I think OP is referring to the people companies that buy homes for the purpose of making money not to live in. I like how. Housing should not be an investment. Immediately turns into. Honestly this goes for all capitalism. All money should be reinvested to make things better for everyone. Not hoarded for your personal selfish gain. Capitalism bad. Can't wait for the next post traffic ticket fines should be based on income. Oh and by the way Akab and should be defunded tots and popular opinion on Reddit, I know face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Houses shouldn't be a commodity. Your opinion is far from unpopular. I agree with you but you believe in a system that does not exist. Participation in capitalism is not optional. You either play by the rules or are left on the sidelines like dozens of poor students in mountains of debt or homeless people. It sucks but it's reality. Relatively speaking we live in some of the best conditions in modern history. You can choose to believe housing is a right and not be treated as an investment but we don't live in that world. I think food should be a guaranteed right as well. Wow an opinion that's insanely popular on Reddit posted to this sub. Color me shocked. 